Rapper Morrison is regarded as one of the most well respected rappers in the UK and in East London, Newham. Now, the Morrison family have a strong lineage and legacy which outweighs all the trivial issues that most rappers have to contend with. Now, while it's typical to see a lot of rappers pull out their phones out their pockets, go on Snapchat or Insta Live and record being out in a borough at 4am in the morning just to prove to fans that they are about that life, Morrison has typically been more low-key. He hasn't really engaged in a problematic back and forth with other rappers either, and that's probably to do with Morrison being in his early 30s. After all, the guy's an adult, and thus, carries himself as one. However, his past has been well documented. Now think about this. On two separate occasions, Morrison was put away. On one occasion, he was down for two years. Now the reason for this was, he got his hands dirty in the horticulture world, where makeshift factories were set up and then they were wiped out. Items were packaged and shipped out. It's also been well documented that the Morrison's brothers were running wild all over London. Morrison himself, Joey and Steve-O, and far beyond, posting as postmen and taking whatever they liked. Now Morrison's brother, Joel Morrison, who was influential in Morrison actually deciding to rap, was given 16 years in 2008, along with mate Marvin Russell Jacob, after they used tools, dressed up as postmen, and invited themselves into other people's homes. Ropes and tape were used to stop homeowners, talking of course, and cash and jewellery were pocketed. On one occasion, Morrison's brother demanded the homeowner give £2 million in cash. The homeowner did not have it, and it just so happened that the Met were outside. Now Joey Morrison and his mates made a quick escape, but they left items behind. And of course, police found those items. Now when the Met found Joey Morrison, they found 10k in cash, 60 in Class A substance, and also a £90,000 Range Rover that had just been purchased. Of course, all those items were confiscated. The Met said an investigation over 10 homes had been invaded across London, and as I said, beyond. Now reports say that Morrison may have been involved in these incidences, but of course he was found not guilty. Now in interviews, Morrison has stated plenty of times that music did not really pay these bills, or afforded him the ability to stop what he was doing in the streets. This is why it's only been in the last few years that he's been consistent, and of course that's since signing with Sony label since 93. Steve, however, did not come off so lucky. In June 2020, two vehicles were involved in a chase, an incident happened in Epping Road. Steve Morrison then managed to drive away in his car before he made his way to a shell petrol station. Sadly, he'd been poked and the wounds were severe. In this incident, 14 people were detained, 9 people remained under investigation, and 5 people had been told there's no further action. Despite all the trials and tribulations against Morrison, he has kept his cards close to his chest. Despite Ladbroke Grove Drill Collective CGM bringing up Steve-O's name, that just shows the maturity for the need not to take the bait. Now Morrison's a dad after all, and his main priority is to provide for his family, despite the loss of his twin brother, and that must be painful. These are just some of the reasons that rapper Morrison is well respected. Stay safe. Safe.